if someone's listening and they want to incite t- attention, well, how do you do that? Be divisive. Be divisive. Exactly what he's saying. Yeah. And it's very easy to do that. Um, and people will be divisive even about things they don't believe about. They'll just choose the side that they feel is the safest division to be on. I can't think of one in particular off the bat, but if you look back to any of my, my prior writing before two, like 2017, 18, you'd see exactly what I'm talking about. And if anyone does that, my social media, they'll see the kind of way I approach things. Like I was very much, uh, I don't know how to put it, but I was very much into just trying to be as clever as I could, but in a way that I knew would upset someone. I, I think this happens in politics a lot. And Lauren and I always say like, we try not to get so political on this show because so, so I think easy, low hanging fruit and we all know this type of content is if you choose, like politics is an easy example. You choose one side or the other, and you know you're going to say things that one side favors over the other, and it's going to completely yeah. alienate. Like you know that's a, a, an easy way to get engagement. I think mm-hmm. it's much harder online to create nuance and get both sides kind of questioning and having a difficult time kind of jumping in with a rah rah like, hey, we really support that. I, I think it's, I think it takes a much more kind of creative thinker and writer to kind of create content where both sides are like, huh, mm. I don't know how I feel about that. Does that make sense? I would agree because that's where I, I feel my career is now. Yeah, being um, more in the middle. Yeah, well, not just in the middle, but being more just like, uh, I want to be more positive than negative at this point. And so when I came back in 2019, I, I put my real name on social media for the first time. And I started writing in a way that kind of helped people evaluate what's going on in their own life. And then when 2020 hit, um, I mean, a lot of people like the joke that it was an IQ test, but I think it was more a character test than anything. I think a lot of people fail, failed the character test. What was the character test? To see how quickly you would turn on other people. Huh. And I think a lot of people failed that. And I took pride and I, I told my girlfriend at the time, I had, a, I had a pending book deal with the largest publisher in North America, which is this book right here. And it came out in the middle of 2020. And I told my girlfriend, I said, my entire career has been built on me speaking out. If I don't speak out now, then I've been a complete fraud. And so I made the decision early on in 2020 that I was going to use my platform to help people question things, but also kind of bring people together and have them view it from a a sense of togetherness as opposed to that immediate divide. And I also accepted the fact that I might lose my book deal for doing it. And I told my girlfriend, if I lose the book deal for this, it's still worth it for me because there's a chance they could pull my book deal if they see that I'm not jumping on the bandwagon with everything that's happening. And a lot of my peers in writing, because I came from the advertising world, I know a lot of very talented writers. I know a lot of very good editors. And I saw the way they used their skill to quickly fear monger and to quickly upset and divide people. And it made me sick and I didn't want to be a part of that. Um, And like you're saying, the side thing, I had a lot of people during, especially during 2020, early on say, why aren't you choosing sides? Like, why don't you just announce what side you're on. Oh, yeah, t- same thing happened to us. And I would tell people, I have chosen a side. I've chosen the side of the people. That's the side I'm on. I'm on your side. I'm on their side. I'm on everybody's side to try and help bring us together. And I actually look back on that and I'm very proud of myself. And as a father, that's kind of where my, my work lives now is if I were to pass or die, I would want my son to see that what I've written and be like proud of the, the man that his father was. And so that's where I approach a lot of my work now. And I don't get nearly the engagement I used to. Um, I, I don't go quote unquote as viral as I used to because I, I, I came from an advertising background. I knew how to, uh, how to incite you know, attention from people. 